Hi everyone, welcome back to My Mini Zoo. Today is my 100th video. For my 100th video, I decided to do a story time. This is the story of how I got Peanut. So basically, I have been wanting my own dog for a very, very long time. My brother bought our family dog, Cookie, six years ago. He managed to save up birthday money and chore money for her. Of course, I was super excited, but I wanted her to be my own dog. A few years passed after getting Cookie, and we got Coco for my sister's Christmas present. I was happy for her and us that we had another dog, but I still wanted one to call my own. By then, I had asked my parents for many, many, many years. Finally, one year of having Coco and five years of having Cookie, my parents decided I could get my own dog. I did about two months of research. Of course, I had experience with dogs and all that. So there was a few rules. No shedding, not too aggressive, under 10 pounds, good with other pets, and easiest to train. We settled on a Morky, which is a Yorkie and Maltese mix. We visited one and asked about another. We saw a few pictures. The one we visited just didn't seem right for me. So we settled on the other. We thought he was cute, but I decided to name him Peanut. But hold up. First of all, he was almost two hours away. Also, we kind of did looking into it, and it might have been a scam. I was pretty sad because there weren't any others I liked. My mom and dad did some looking around on websites and came across this cutie. He was named Phantom. He looked healthy and happy. They contacted the breeder, and she said he was available along with his brother. His brother's name was Cody. I knew I wanted to change their name if I got one of them, so we decided on the original idea, Peanut. We met with the breeder, Cody and Phantom. Phantom was larger, and Cody fit in my mom's palm of her hands. We thought about it and decided on Cody. At first, I had what's called the puppy blues, so I wasn't sure if he was the right one, if he was healthy, etc. My parents said if I really wanted him, they could put down the deposit. Later that night, it was official. He was ours. We waited about a week for him to be weaned off his mom. And after that, he was ready. We bought a lot of toys, food, a crate, a bed, bowls, etc. We went to go pick him up. It was about a 45-minute drive, and I was really, really excited to get him. Finally, we arrived, and they said their goodbyes to each other. He was a bit confused at first and nervous, but then he was okay. When we got home, he was super tiny and my brother thought he was fake. My dad quickly put the other dogs in the back room so he wouldn't get afraid. He was introduced to everyone. Finally, after 30-ish minutes, we brought the other two dogs out. They were curious and skittish. Coco kind of barked at him and stuff, and Cookie was just very confused. He's, he was super tiny at that time, and so his name fit him perfectly. There's lots of cute things that he did, like he would start to pounce when you video him, which is also super adorable. He was actually a very smart dog, and he still is. He already like knew how to sit and shake after a while. He does this really cute thing where he squeaks when he yawns. This was his first bath. He was a little scared at first. He didn't really know what was happening because there was so much soap and water all over him. He was very confused. But um, after, like, my mom and I were just sitting around with him, and he was okay. This was his first Christmas. About two to three months passed, and he got very big. He was about five pounds after that, and now he's like seven or eight. He loves to play and pounce around and play with the other two dogs as well. This was his first haircut and his first time at a dog park. It really, we don't really know if his ears stick up or stick down because sometimes they stick up and then they just flop down. His ears have a mind of their own. He loves to take naps and lay in the bed. He poses really well for the camera too. 
I have a lot of great memories with him, and I hope to continue to make more. He's so fuzzy, and he's a Palmapoo, which is a Pomeranian and Poodle mix. He loves to be held and snuggled. And when we take him on walks, we put him inside my jacket. We just, my dad just tried training him sit, and he did really, really well with that. So he moved on to shake, and then he learned his name. So we decided to enroll him for a class at Petco. He got accepted into class, and he had his first class where he learned many, many different things. He learned to sit, which he already kind of knew. He learned how to follow me and all that stuff. The next l- lesson He learned his name, he reviewed sit and shake, and all that. On his third class, he learned how to lay down, which was very impressive. It took him a while to learn it, but after a while, he was getting pretty confident with it. I had to put my leg down and make like a little bridge, and he would sit down and then lay down. Now he's gotten really, really good at it, so I just tell him down, and he lays down. He's very smart, likes to jump and play. I love him so much. Most of the time he's pretty energetic, but he can be calm too. He loves to play with toys. Every morning he rides to school with me. I love him so much and I am excited to see what comes in the future. And that was how Peanut came to be. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. He's going to be in a lot of my upcoming videos. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. Bye.